All right, so we've talked a lot about uh, derivatives of trig functions, you know, sine, cosine, tangent, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, those are sometimes uh, also called the circular trig functions. So uh, now that we've talked about the chain rule, we can start talking about uh, hyperbolic trig. So uh, the first one we'll do is uh, the derivative of the hyperbolic sine function. Um, it's also called a singe, so sine h uh, of the variable x. So uh, this is pronounced singe of x. And uh, the derivative of singe of x is cosh x, okay, the hyperbolic cosine. So in other words, uh, the derivative of the hyperbolic sine of x is the hyperbolic cosine of x. So uh, remember from pre-calculus, um, or I guess trig, uh, or whatever, the hyperbolic sine of x is defined to be e to the x minus e to the negative x all over 2. Right? So that's what the hyperbolic sine of x is. Uh, and we're just going to use this definition to uh, prove this derivative here. So it'll be pretty straightforward. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. So ddx of singe of x equals ddx of e to the x minus e to the negative x all over 2. Okay? So this uh, all over 2 here, this just means uh, we're multiplying by a half or we're dividing by 2. So uh, what we could do is just pull the 1 half out of the derivative and we're left with this. Uh, 1 half times d dx of e to the x minus e to the negative x. Okay? Uh, and now this here can be differentiated term by term. So let's go ahead and do that. So then what we have is this equals uh, 1 half times, if we differentiate term by term for this first term here, what do we have? Uh, d dx of e to the x is just e to the x, right? Uh, how about the second term here? We have minus, okay, minus sign here, uh, minus d dx of e to the negative x. So here we kind of need the chain rule, right? So the derivative of e to a thing is just e to that thing times the derivative of that thing. Okay. Um, but what's the derivative with respect to x of negative x? It's just negative 1, right? So let's go ahead and uh, erase that and we'll replace it with a negative 1. Okay. So that's what we have here. All right. So uh, again, the derivative of e to a thing is just e to that thing times the derivative of that thing. Okay. And in this case, that thing is negative x. So the derivative of that thing is the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. All right. So let's go ahead and simplify this now. Uh, so then this is just going to be, uh, let's come up here. So we have equals 1 half times e to the x uh, minus e to the negative x times negative 1. Uh, these two minuses are going to combine to become a plus. So this is plus e to the negative x. All right. uh, and another way to write this is e to the x plus e to the negative x all over 2. But uh, this is cosh, okay? This is the definition uh, of the hyperbolic cosine. So that's uh, the proof of the derivative of the hyperbolic sine function, uh, sinx.